Hello, hi, welcome. My name is Eva and today I'm here to share my own personal experience with an Instagram famous personal trainer, which was terrible, literally a nightmare. I will not be saying her name because currently she has over 2 million followers and obviously I do not want 2 million people coming after me and my little channel. I'm just sharing this in hopes to raise awareness and maybe help someone who might be in the same vulnerable situation. I just woke up, so... I filmed this video so many times, but there was always something wrong with it. If you're wondering why I have a barricaded window in my living room, it's because it's literally looking into the hallway of our building. I don't know who built it or why, but... It's there. We have a nice world map on it. So yeah, we're just gonna roll with it. Just a little bit of a background. So back in 2018, I was working in retail. I was doing a 10 and a half hour long night shift. I was lifting heavy boxes, pushing heavy trolleys. We were on our feet all night long. So yeah, it was a very active job. My relationship with food was okay. I didn't cook too much, but I would eat whatever. I was skinny anyway. So at this time I was only starting a fresh relationship and all of my insecurities basically just came out to the surface start manifesting onto the relationship so I was like I better do something before I mess this up right I wasn't on social media back then I don't even know how I found this girl she had almost 1 million followers back then I'm not gonna lie, this was another thing that kind of pushed me towards going for it because I thought to myself, well, she wouldn't be that popular if she didn't know what she was doing, right? Yeah, no, never, never base anything off of the number of followers a person has on social media. Just please don't do that. Her bio said she was a certified personal trainer. Looking back at it, who knows if she was certified at all, but yeah. And are you ready? 12 weeks of personalized training was 300 us dollars 300 us dollars and do you want to guess what i got a microsoft word file and an excel sheet for 300 us dollars for 12 weeks you can let me know down in the comments if this was normal back then for this to cost so much but um this is insane but like i said i wasn't on social media i was clueless i was also clueless on fitness um i was just looking for shortcuts i just wanted someone to tell me what to do to get fit so the microsoft word file literally had all the meals written down for me and this was literally from breakfast to dinner. Just a side note, personal trainers are not supposed to tell you you have to eat this for breakfast, eat this for lunch. They can offer you nutritional advice, give you recipe ideas. They can tell you how many calories you're supposed to eat, but you can switch your meals, whatever. Like you can eat whatever you want, the, unless they are a dietitian themselves as well. But this girl definitely wasn't. Right off the bat, it was like, you're not allowed to eat chocolate, snacks to a minimum, mom she literally said buy sugar-free gum as a snack and she put the snack in like that her snacks a bad word is, is that i'm not allowed to have a snack this diet had very little meat in it also one of her notes was literally don't rush your meals you won't die from a little discomfort you won't die from a little discomfort. That's literally what she said. If you ever hear a personal trainer saying you won't die from a little discomfort, don't rush your meals, you can't have a proper snack, just run to the hills because that's insane honestly that's just beyond insane like i said unfortunately i was clueless i wasn't even on social media so i had no idea i thought this was all normal i thought this is what you have to do in order to get fit and healthy and yeah back to the excel sheet the excel sheet literally had all the workouts written down for me and this was just the name of the workouts how many reps and sets no description nothing else like literally so little effort in it like i said i was a noob i had to google half of these exercises because i didn't know what they were when i was signing my form with her you know how they ask you if you have any injuries which are going to prevent you from doing certain exercises and what are your fitness goals yes i can't do lunges so my knees are so freaking bad i literally lunges just crush my knees every time this is the only injury that i have I specifically said I can't do lunges. 
I still got lunges, like my very first day in the Excel sheet had lunges in it. So looking back at it now, I think she was just handing out the same two files to all of her clients and just getting the money because this literally it doesn't make any sense. My fitness goal was literally written down as I want to build muscle. Do you want to guess how many calories she gave me to eat a day? 1,400. 1,400 calories per day for someone who is on her feet all night long, pushing heavy trolleys, lifting heavy boxes, running around the shop. I was already skinny. Her exercises were mostly heavy cardio focused. How was I supposed to build muscle? Eating so little and moving so much. You can literally see my barbell there. I have a lot of equipment at home. It's not like she couldn't have given me other types of exercises. No, I really don't know what was she thinking. But like I said, unfortunately, I did not see the red flags because I was clueless. I thought she was certified. She knows what she's doing. So I blindly put my trust into her. Fast forward to three weeks into the program. I already lost. 3 kg so i sent her an email i expressed my concerns about this um, i said well is this normal do i have to lose more weight and then start gaining muscle or like what's the plan here she just dodged the question she just wrote on and on about how it's normal to have um, doubts you have to trust the process you have to do this and that on my rest days i was supposed to be even more strict with my eating because God forbid you eat something bad on a day that you're not working out. I mean, come on. The thing is, this girl is so muscly. Like, she's super strong. She has super big muscles. She's not eating 1,400 calories per day. She, there's no way. How, how is she doing this to her clients? I just don't get it. So basically, anytime I would express any concerns to her, um, she would always make it sound like it's something that I'm doing wrong. It was never her program. No, it was always something that I'm not doing correct. Unfortunately, I still went on with the 12 weeks. I came out of this plan even more insecure, even more skinny. 50 kg. I'm going to have to look up how many pounds that is because I don't know pounds. A little bit of a backstory now. Between 2012 and 2015, I was in college and unfortunately, I was struggling with an eating disorder. I would want to be skinny, so I would starve myself. I would literally live off like two little toasties a day. And then, of course, I would binge and then I would feel extremely guilty about it and then I would make myself throw up and I was struggling with this for three years and then between 2016 and 2018 my relationship with food was great it was okay until 2018 and you can kind of connect the dots where this is going yeah I wasn't throwing up at this point but I would starve myself because I thought she knows what she's doing. So after the 12 weeks, I try to follow the meal plan. Still, I would just be so hungry and then I would binge on the weekends and then I would feel guilty and then I would starve myself again throughout the week and then binge again. And after a while, this just turned into binging, binging and overeating for months and months and I ended up gaining 15 kg, which is 30 pounds in less than a year. I was having a really hard time at work. I was so hungry. I was so overtrained. I would regularly get sick and throw up every morning between 3 and 5. My shift would finish at 7.30. So I would have to go home early, a few hours early, because I just couldn't. I didn't have the strength. I felt so sick, so nauseous, that I couldn't finish my shift. Luckily, everyone thought I was pregnant, so they had understanding. <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't pregnant. I was just overtrained. I was super hungry. I was exhausted. She knew the type of a job that I'm doing. I mentioned it multiple times, not just in the forums, in the emails. And she kept pushing this. And 
and I just really don't know what she was thinking. Checking her out on Instagram made me see, like I said, she's over 2 million followers now. I can see that she now has her own app, which means she's not handing out Microsoft Word and Excel sheets anymore. Her prices did went down to $30 per month, but I'm pretty sure this is just because the competition is so big and there's so many big influencers and good PTs and programs out there for super affordable prices. So she probably just had to lower her prices. Come on, let's be honest. She still claims that her programs are personalized through the app. I seriously doubt this. Like I said, I really hope she changed her ways, but I don't think so. I mean, people seem to only change their ways when they get caught doing something wrong or exposed. I'd love to expose her, to be honest. I would love to have a chat with her, but yeah, my platform is not nearly big enough. I just don't want any drama. I just want to raise awareness and maybe try to help people because like these things are so dangerous. You're literally handing your nutrition to someone else. Oh my god, like it can be so, so dangerous. Please learn from my mistakes. Before signing up with a PT, like depending on what your goal is, at least try to inform and educate yourself. Like if you want to lose weight, just look up basics of losing weight. So you have to be in a calorie deficit, you have to move, walk, weight train, whatever. Just know some basics that you would have to do in order to lose weight. It'll be easier for you to notice any red flags with your PT. If some exercises are hurting your knees or anything else, just tell your personal trainer. That's what they're there for, to change and individualize every single program and routine towards your needs. So that's what you're paying them. If they try to make you feel like um, it's something that you're doing wrong, like she did to me, just run to the hills, like just leave it. Try to get your refund, but if you can't, like trust me, no money is worth having to deal with the consequences that I had to deal with. That literally destroyed me and my relationship with food. I'm gonna leave a few names on the screen now. Um, Megan Grubb, she's got a great YouTube channel. Her older videos would be more on like fitness stuff. She actually is a personal trainer. Let me just say that because she used to work as a personal trainer in a gym. She is certified. She speaks a lot about how to build a booty, how to build certain shapes to your body just in general. She posts great workout routines on her Instagram and I think on YouTube as well. So she's someone who you can learn a lot from. Then there's Lisa Fit on Instagram. She has a great app. It's called Strong and Sexy. This is what helped me lose weight after gaining 15 kg, 30 pounds. It's so affordable. It's 15 pounds, I think. Lisa also posts her routines on Instagram. And she's just a very, she's funny as well. She's just a very good person to follow. So yeah. If you are looking to lose weight, the absolute best for this is Obese to Beast. Um, he's got a YouTube commentary channel. He's got a Discord, I think, as well. So he's got thousands of people in there. I learned so much from him. He talks about controversial topics, about just in general losing weight and his experiences. He lost so much weight as well. Definitely check him out. Right, I need to wrap this up because it's getting very long. <laughs> if this video helps one person, I'd be so happy. Just please take care of yourself. Just don't ignore the red flags. This is your health. This is your relationship with food. Like I said before, these things can be very, very dangerous. So don't put your trust blindly into someone else just because they have a huge following on Instagram. And just because they look great, they can train themselves that does not mean that they know how to train other people. And unfortunately, there is a lot of PTs out there that are big and that just care for the money. They don't really care for the damage that they might inflict on their clients, which is very sad. I had four different personal trainers in the past and they were all huge on Instagram. I'm going to share my experiences with them as well. If you would like to see that, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to check me out on social media. My Instagram and TikTok handle is Eva full stop Matea. That's M-A-T-E-J-A. -E and yes, that's how you pronounce my name. It's not Matija, Mateja or any other variation. It's Matea. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.